so the second slide or this slide here is working with equations of motion so i'm going to pause your question a little bit but when we get to now when we start checking whether it's moving up or down the explanations that comes with it moving up with it moving down it's uh, observations that are going to assist us to be able to answer answer your question so you will be answered but now your question was not necessarily based on the specific slide that we are looking into which was this introductory slide now we furthermore moved into the equations of motion ladies and gentlemen this will be our free marks we usually say there's one mark for the formula one mark for the substitution we have learned this from grade 10 from grade 11 it is still applicable in grade 12. but what does this say it says i need now to understand my formula sheet where do i go in order for me to attend the questions of vertical projectile motion so i will be given a formula sheet that says motion or equations of motion but i have assigned this equations here numbers equation one equation two equation three and equation four if you check i have scratched out equation number four the reason for scratching out equation number four is equation number four it will work at times it will not work so i don't want us to have that 50 50 percent feel of a question work an equation working or not working the reason why this one i scratched it out and only try to focus on the three that is given is only because equation number four does not accommodate the g I repeat equation number four does not accommodate the gravitational acceleration but now let's check what we said a projectile an object in which the only force acting must be force of gravity free fall motion of an object under the influence of gravitational force it basically says all the equations that we are going to use must somehow force us to work with the magnitude of g so this equation which is equation number four i repeat it works at times at times it doesn't work so i want us to eliminate it because it's the one that creates confusion so us eliminating it it says we only have one two three equations to consider why because all these equations they have now the a which will be a g in this instance they have an a they also have an a so it basically says this equation now will accommodate the issue of a projectile an object experiencing a free uh, in a free fall or an object that is only now uh, experiencing the force of gravity so with this one we do not have a space for a or g which is now the gravitational acceleration furthermore vi bf g and delta y are vector quantities so them being vector quantities what does this say it says now they must have magnitude and direction so in science how do we assign direction we usually say choose left as negative choose right as positive so that principle of motion in one dimension will also work when we have a vertical projectile motion so i prefer i personally prefer unless they did otherwise to choose my upward as positive 
The reason for that is if I choose my upward as positive, it basically says my G will be negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Why choose upward as positive? It makes everything easy in terms of allocating the position of the projectile in the motion. And then I can be now uh, moving up and down in terms of the information that is given. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, and this is more important, you cannot uh, choose a direction for the beginning of the question, let's say 3.1, to be upward as positive and then you suddenly decide to say 3.2 i'm going to say now downward as positive you cannot do that so the con the directional conversion that you agree to yourself or you decide to choose if you say at the beginning of the question i'm going to take downwards as positive then throughout the question that is the direction that you are working with Hence, I usually say indicate at next to the question to say upward as positive, downward negative, or now I'm deciding to say downward negative, upward positive. So that directional conversion that you are agreeing to yourself or deciding to choose is the one that you are going to work throughout. Because once we have a signs that do not correlate, it end up giving you incorrect answers for 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 no reason so now with with this we said we need now to assign magnitude and direction to all these uh, physical quantities that are given but i have given you hints here so hint number one says draw a sketch diagram for the problem given and label all the important parts of the motion. So labeling the important parts of the motion basically says to me, I must draw the trajectory, which is now the motion of this particular projectile. Write down the given variables. And I only need now to have three variables, only three variables in order for me to perform a calculation. Two variables will always be given. One variable will be given, but like I said, it will be heady. So it is there somewhere, but it needs us now to apply the physics principle it will be given but somehow the examiner will not give it to us straight away so it will require us to use now the physics principle what will be the physics principle in this topic is what i am going to explain as we move on is what i'm going to try and explain while i try to answer the question of a uh, retabile mufuking and the last one here ladies and gentlemen says choose the correct equation so if i'm in a position of choosing the correct equation I am now at almost 70% chance of getting this question correct. The reason being very easy. One mark for the formula, one mark for the substitution, one mark for the final answer with the correct SI unit. So what I want to introduce here for people that were here last week, you, you, you basically know the slides, you have seen them before, but I want us to add something that we call F sort. So this F sort, ladies and gentlemen, it is the one that forces us, because we are working with vectors, to say the mark number one will be on the formula, mark number two will be for the correct substitution, Mark number one will be for the formula. Mark number two will be for the substitution. Mark number three, it's now for the answer. 
together with the correct SI unit. Then most people lose marks in this topic because they do not now assign the direction to the final answer. So this is an analogy, a principle that I want us to take to say all the questions that I'm going to be asked, that requires me to calculate, especially for paper one, I must use the F sort, choose the correct formula, substitute into the correct formula, get the correct answer with the SI unit, and if I am working with a vector quantity, of which in this case of a projectile motion, majority of our uh, quantities or physical quantities are vectors like I explained, then the expectation is you must assign a direction to the final answer. So I have explained the slide. It allows us now to have the 30 seconds of digesting everything that is on this slide. If there are questions, you can quickly send them to the chat or raise a hand and then I can attend uh, to to that.